So tonight's movie was a super, super, super long silent film directed by Eric von Stroheim, but not that super, super, super long one that you think I'm talking about, but rather um, The Merry Widow from 1925, not to be confused with the um, um, Lubitsch musical. This one is silent and stars Mae Murray, also known as the girl with the bee sting stung lips. She's beautiful. Um, she's so good in this, actually. Like, her face is so, um, ex like, full, what's the word I'm looking for? Expressive? Wow, I can't, really can't talk. <laughs> her face is so expressive, it's insane. And her eyes, and oof. Um, and the prince in it is played by John Gilbert. It's one of his first big, like, breakout roles. And obviously John Gilbert is amazing and, like, super hot. And if you look at the way his hair is in this, it's sort of very similar to um, Colin Farrell's haircut in Winter's Tale. And so I've decided that Colin Farrell should do a biopic of John Gilbert. And I also I also think this is brilliant. Um, this is actually a really brilliant idea. And someone is going to steal it from me and it's going to happen. And you heard it here first. Um, Mr. Rochester is also a big Colin Farrell fan, so he wants to see this happen. Um... Yes, John Gilbert, super attractive. Um, here's the box. There we go. It's um, released by the Warner Archive Collection. Uh, it apparently, okay, so I was watching it because, uh, well, one, because it's Von Stroheim and he's amazing. And two, because it's supposed to have um, a really early appearance by Joan Crawford. She's one of the extras. Um... And so this is technically my 67th Joan Crawford movie, but I couldn't find her. I didn't. So she's there, but I couldn't find her. Kirk Gable is supposed to be one of the dancing dudes also. So Kirk Gable enthusiasts. Uh, let's see. Uh, apparently there's a Hungarian version from 1918. That's interesting. Uh beautiful film like von stroheim really loved the camera and really liked to work angles and he his his um framing of things is, is always very exquisite um and the costumes dude i can't even like they're so beautiful um i don't know i'm assuming everyone knows the plot and i probably shouldn't do that the Mary widow is about um a showgirl who meets a prince and the prince pretends he's not a prince and then he's gonna woo the showgirl but then he falls in love with the showgirl and then his brother I think it's his brother embarrasses him um and then he's gonna marry the the showgirl but then his parents are like you're a prince and so then the brother goes and tells the showgirl that here's some money and the prince can't marry you and t tricks her into thinking that the prince is throwing her away with some money so she's pissed at him, and then she decides to marry a rich baron who is making eyes at, at in this version, at her ankles. Um, and <laughs> and then he dies on their wedding day, and so she doesn't really have to consummate the marriage, which is good because it would have been creepy. Um, but she does get all the money, which is, like, what we all want, right? Um, and then she is the titular Mary Widow flirting and has all this money, and all these people want to marry her for her money, including... The prince, but not the prince that loved her. The prince who tricked her. And then, you know, shit happens and people get confused. And, um, but it's Hollywood and it's, um, so there's a happy ending. Uh, it's really, they have, the two of them have really great chemistry. Um, I do quite love John Gilbert. I think I already said that, but um, here's the box again. In case you missed it the first time. Uh, yes, The Merry Widow, 1925. It's two and a half hours long, so you gotta really be, you gotta push through it. But, you know, it's beautiful, so you can do it. And it's, it's worth it. Um, as, is, as is this cat. 